Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? <sighs> we should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then... Well, that's the way it goes. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. There's no safe way through that mess. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Like it still works. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Hmm. 
girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? What do you think? Christ. I've heard your opinion. What's done is done. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, oh, shit! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. Ah! Do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It doesn't matter. We gotta keep moving. Let's just leave her. Let's think about this. Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Dirty as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Get out! 
You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, We'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health, but he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What it. about medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. Instead of what? Letting her suffer? You guys couldn't try to save her? You shot her instead. What's done is done. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on Earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute.
It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? You have to chill out. You think? I'm not going to play the victim, but you and your buddy might have had a hand in my instability. Can I do anything for you? Haven't you... No. Yes. I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. Counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. You'll thank me later. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time. 
but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now it doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor in a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What do you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. It must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? 
Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Lily back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> gotcha. Everything keeps changing. need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. But we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I... Uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to Macon much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. What do you think about Lily? 
She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. How's it going, Ben? Still fine. There's some broken glass on the ground there. There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. More chalk. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. 
And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get Got our people out, out there! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up or I'll... Christ! Oh, shit! Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! Oh, Christ! Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Shit! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, ben. Everything's not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You're in no position to make demands. 
Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Holly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Guys, we have to act now. I know it sounds nuts, but we have a traitor here. Do you guys get that? Someone who puts their insidious shit above everyone else. Thank you, Lee. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well... We can deal with this now, then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily? Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything, just- You think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please! God, please! You're pathetic. Look at you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? You're making it worse on yourself. I just don't want to be on my own. You should have thought of that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this, you're torturing him. No! Ben, stop. This is about trust and I've never trusted you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. That gets you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit. But I know it wasn't you. Not with her in your life. Damn! I got him! Please, let's just get back in That's the That's not RV. happening! You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now. What the fuck's the problem? Drop it! Holy fuck. Kenny! What's happening? Get Duck away from the windows! Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ken, Lee! You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. 
I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. Lee, a word, please? You okay? Katya needs you for something. What's up? Is Doc feeling all right? What's the plan? You've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do, from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. on his bike and they were in a truck throwing things at him calling their names stuff like that and this tough son of a gun he, he pedals up after him he catches him he pulls his bike up alongside the truck and jumps into the back and starts beating on him he teaches all three of them a lesson but the truck's still moving you see and just as he stands up to jump out it zooms underneath a tree and a branch hits him square in the face he goes flying out the back If he can live through that, I'm sure Duck can live through this. something up ahead.
there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I'm used to it by now. We all are, aren't we? She murdered her, Lee. I was there, Ken. I'm sorry. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Hey man, we're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. That's one 
hell of a mess. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so, but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. I'll take this to Katja for Doc. There's got to be a better way to do this. Shit. Broken. Derailed. I can get in over there. found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right. Switch. That'll crack a scroll just fine. A rusted shirt, but nice and heavy.
shit. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. Suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. I have no idea what to do with these. A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. door's gonna hurt. Okay. You aren't gonna like this. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck.
son of a bitch! Whatever you did lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Shit! We're golden! This thing is loud. So what? We're barreling down the tracks at 40 miles an hour. I don't care about the noise. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. thing free if I can break it loose first. bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free.
pry this thing free, if I can break it loose first. Years. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? for where. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. 
I'll talk to you later. Hope so. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? I better get back to it. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Here, I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. It is. Your daughter's something else. She's a survivor. Has been from day one. Takes after her dad, looks like. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? If you get that off his face, my hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. 
want to get this train stopped right quick. Stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. The hell it's not. You think we're pals and you know me? You're some elitist prick with a fancy education who could pick me apart? It's not like that. The fuck it isn't. think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, and a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. He can just drift off to sleep. Right, hun? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's... Here, or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. I'll do it. No, it should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. 
Lee's right, Kat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. She could. She, 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 she just. Oh, 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 fuck! Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. 